Oh, right. Often, you may want to go online to purchase flash media or uh, any type of portable storage device, and sometimes you'll get a price that's really, really cheap. And then you get the thing, and you put it in your camera, you put it in your cell phone, that sort of thing. It's supposed to be a 32 gig chip, and it can only seem to record two gigs of data. Well, today I'm going to show you how to fight flash fraud with F3 right now on Spatry's Cup of Linux. Okay, let's begin. Uh, let's go ahead and close this terminal here. All right, now, F3, or Fight Flash Fraud, is a Linux alternative to H2TestW, which is a popular program for Windows for testing flash media, your pen drives, and that sort of thing. And I happen to like to use uh, micro uh, SD chips and, you know, these small little tiny chips, I have an adapter which will allow me to uh, make a USB drive out of them. And, of course, I also have adapters which will allow me to convert these into regular SD cards. So, uh, they're very handy to have. They're small, compact, and, uh, you know, you can pretty much take these with you everywhere you go. Okay, but let's say you found a great deal on eBay. Somebody announced that they have a 64 gig drive that's dirt cheap. Okay, you really want to read the comments people are putting up. They're saying the drive is defective or fake and only let them write two gigs of data. You probably don't want to buy it. But let's say you didn't read the comments, you bought the, you bought the package, and it turns out uh, this is a possibility. It could be true. Okay. What we're going to do is we are going to test this media. Now, I uh, went ahead and I uh, inserted a flash drive into my computer, or actually uh, an SD card, as you can see here on the screen. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to follow these instructions here. Uh, all the instructions you need for downloading this and compiling it are on this page, and the link will be in the description. Or you can just yower to F3 if you're on Manharo or Arch Linux to download this. Very simple, very easy. Okay, so first, we're going to go ahead and run F3 right. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, F3 right. And then I need to put in the directory. And this is where my media drive is. So I'm just going to highlight this, copy it. Okay, go back into my terminal, right click and paste. Okay, and now it's creating these files. Now, this drive is only a two gig drive. And as you can see, this is quite a lengthy process. So I am going to pause the video while I'm waiting on this media to complete. And then when I come back, we're going to run the read cycle to determine if this drive is really two gigs in space and if I can, and, and if I can, you know, reliably store my data on this drive. Okay, great. Now that this has completed, you will see that if I look into my flash drive here, I'm going to have two files totaling two gigs. All right, so let's go ahead and open that terminal back up now. And then I'm going to just press the up arrow here, but now instead of F3 write, I'm going to tell it to F3 read. And now it's going to go through the process of reading all of the data that has just been written. And if this gives you any errors on a larger drive, per se, you can probably bet it's probably a bad drive. And if it's a brand new drive, you need to take it back and get your money back for it. Uh, because, yeah, uh, there's a lot of people out there selling uh, faulty drive here. Uh, but I'm just very interested in seeing uh, what this is going to do here. Because this is a brand new uh, memory chip. 
Uh, I got a couple of 2 gig chips because I wanted to have them for smaller Linux distributions for being able to put them into a USB stick or a uh, SD card and be able to boot from them to try them out after testing them in a virtual machine. So this works very well for that purpose. It looks like the uh, first file uh, has been read just fine and everything is uh, all um, good. So let's see what the next one does here. Excellent. And you will see here that it's telling me that this drive has 1.83 gigs. There is zero data uh, that is corrupted. And these are the kind of results you will want to see. So make this utility your friend when testing out your flash drives, any SD cards, or any other media. Well, that's all I have on this. As a reminder, please consider supporting the show hosts who bring you the content you enjoy the most by disabling your ad blockers or shouting some coins. Peace out. Mm -hmm.